this is the most serious thing that I've ever said to the public in my entire life. I'm Ric Flair, and I play the game by my rules. If you are the best at what you do. Greetings, and welcome to another edition of Behind the Scenes. All right, so I had mentioned that I may do a Ralph Lauren Hall for some self-appreciation items that I picked up. Not necessarily just self-appreciation items, but, you know, as I've stated before, and it's not an excuse, it's just a fact of life, to keep, to keep this platform fresh and moving and progressing and growing at a grassroots level, shopping is part of it. So, you know, uh, I've been somewhat limited in certain aspects of shopping uh, towards the, you know, the last half of the pandemic or whatever. But, you know, now that we're out of those woods, you know, we kind of got to get back, get back to doing what we do. Right. So but I didn't want to do like um, buy, open the box and pull each piece out. Man, that's for other channels. That's for other channels. Um, I will take the time, though, just to show you a few of the pieces that I picked up that I feel like are really special and that are really going to have a place in not only Rustic Chic, but just the channel in general as far as upcoming episodes, etc. Man, got some, got some really, some really cool pieces. One of them you're looking at here, which is the Tweed Cricket Ball Cap with the Scribble logo fitted beautiful cricket colors there uh beautiful cricket pattern in the colors of uh college green college green purple and gold okay i don't know if you can see those details there but um you know very nice cap man very nice cap and it's definitely a tweed now i will give the cap a nine out of ten i would give it a ten if instead of just making the cap tweed they would actually put a herringbone pattern under it i thought that would that would have really been perfect uh herringbone would have been perfect pounds too could have maybe worked but that might have been a a clash of styles with the stripings of the cricket but uh, her uh herringbone pattern would have been perfect all right but i digest but this is one of them um let me show you something else i did we talked about these on the last uh seamless style but the alpines i did pick up the vanilla wafers and uh yeah i'm so pleased with these look i haven't even tried this shoe on but just from looking at it i'm so pleased with these i am gonna get another pair now there are there are actually three three more colors available i'm only gonna get one of them okay because i don't i just don't I don't feel a need to have all of the colors that they have, but there is one other color that I want, and I'm probably it's probably going to be that chocolate, okay? But look at that. This is something. This is something that my people was saying turned them off. That's actually something for me that I like, and that's the threading there not being perfect. You can tell that it's hand stitched. To me, that gives it a unique look, okay? But as the lows would say the cookie there just the fact just the, these hiking boots man just the fact these alpines look like how they look and i already switched the uh strings out because they came with strings uh the same color as the the base of the boot but i already switched them out for the more traditional red and black stripe shoe strings that came in the in the box with them but man look at that man that's a beauty. That's a beautiful. That's a beautiful. That's a beautiful shoe there, man. So yeah, those, those I picked those up. I picked up a few essentials, uh, scarf, um, gloves. I picked up this Farrell cap here. I go ahead and take it off. I picked up this beautiful Farrell Scully here. I picked this up. Not exactly finished with the not necessarily ensembles or ensemble that's going to go with it but just i haven't quite figured out what i want to do with it yet but i know something's getting done that much i know so i'm not i'm not too concerned about it 
picked up a couple more pair of fair isle socks to be able to complete some rustic chic looks that'll be coming through here soon right i also picked up this bad boy simple yet elegant work shirt denim nice little uh worn in look to it with the corduroy collar right not quite a western but definitely a work shirt not quite mother of pearl buttons you know if it was double rl maybe it would have that but doesn't need it beautiful nice little piece and i'm pretty sure just uh the way i style typically that'll be worn over something and maybe even with some network and then i picked up this piece i told y'all because of the president uh president of mexico's dumbass wife i told y'all that now she motivated me to go ahead and jump into uh southwestern print and me, me, uh, aztec culture so i picked up this blanket here i picked up this uh this shirt this shirt jacket heavy heavy i never realized how heavy these were you know i never realized how heavy these were so great uh kangaroo pockets here work shirt designing here got all of your azteca inspirations here yeah pick this up from the website lady throat step throat latch so it's made and it's polo country so it's made to uh it's made to go over some pieces and, um with something this this heavy it definitely does not have to be just over a shirt or something like you could literally put that over a sweater that's how heavy that is that's a jacket that's damn near a coat I have I have actual jackets that are lighter weight than that, you know. So with that said, those are like I said, those are a few pieces. Um, there are a few more pieces here that I'm not going to show today because you know, like I said, I just wanted to give y'all a quick glimpse. But you're going to see everything you saw here. You're going to eventually see in upcoming vlog episodes. Um, did pick up an amazing jacket uh and let's just say that between now and christmas i will be receiving a piece that is going to be the piece of de resistance of all piece de resistance of all of them of all of them and it's not cheap it's not a cheap piece it's gonna cost me you know, by the time by the time you see it, this might be gone. No, not the sports coat, not the sports coat. My right arm, my right arm might be gone by the time when you finally see this piece. I might I might be doing the shows from here on out like this. Greetings and welcome to another edition of Seamless Style, powered by Polo Tips and Polaroids. I am your host, of Mr. Parker. I might have to only I might only have my left arm left arm and left hand. Yeah, that's how serious this piece is. And it is not cheap. There's no negotiations, nothing. But this piece is fire. Supreme fire. Like if any of y'all have ever been or lived in California, you can you can attest to this. Those fires that they have out there, this those fires pale in comparison to this piece. So, oh, one other thing. Something that I picked up a, a, along my eBay travels. Simple piece, right? Doesn't, you know, nothing too seriously fancy about it, but it's a great piece. It's a rugby Ralph Lauren corduroy sports coat, leather brown elbow patches, and it is green. Great piece. The uh, vendor of the piece. Ain't worth a fuck when it comes to negotiation. Doesn't even reply. Another one of those vendors I'd love to punch in the face. But I, I wasn't too, too upset with the price. I, I was cool with it to the point I said, F it, I just buy it. You know what I mean? But don't put up our best offer if you're not taking any offers. And when you put up our best offer, we're going to offer. And then when you don't respond, you're an asshole. You could even you could even speak truths because truths are sometimes depending on how long you've had a piece on eBay, 
eBay will put an or best offer up there and you didn't even put it up there. And you and won't get a notification about it. So you'll be like, wait a minute, I didn't put or best offer on it. So that could be the case with you, sir. But you still an asshole because you saw me make an offer. And I DM'd you or inboxed you in reference to the offer. So you're an asshole. But nonetheless, I have the peace. Everything's all good. Ain't no ain't no point in crying over no spilt milk. That's a dope little piece, and I'm and I got ideas for it. That's why it was so important for me to grab that piece because I have great ideas for it. Okay, but anyway, really quick, just like I said, wanted to bounce in here, show y'all a few pieces that came through. More to come. Vlog coming up, obviously, this Sunday. All right. Until then, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and tell a friend. And man, major salute and shout out to the gentleman who made uh, donations uh, past couple of days. Man, I really, really appreciate it, man. Y'all just don't know. I appreciate it. Um, not that it should matter, but I actually took those donations and got a, um, the extender for my gimbal. So now I can, you know, extend my gimbal five feet in the air and get some real, real time, like movie type of B-roll shots. You know what I mean? So I'm appreciative. I really am. I appreciate y'all's donations. All right. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, tell a friend, man. We here. We here. And we back at it. We back on the grind, baby. All right. Artists paint pictures. Haters paint narratives. So don't be a hater. All right. Y'all have a good one.